Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do dividing integers. So last time, we have uploaded a video about multiplying integers and no mga nakarang linggo natin, we also uploaded adding and subtracting integers. So by the way, in dividing integers, it is also the same as the rules of multiplying integers. Kaya hindi tayo mahihirapan dito. So again, for those viewers, the students, teachers, and parents, shout out po sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po. Okay? So without further ado, let's do this topic. When dividing two integers, here's the rule. If the signs are the same, the quotient is positive. And then the other rule, if the signs are different, the quotient is negative. So, as you can see, if you already learned and watched the video about multiplying integers, the rules are the same. But yung structure niya lang may iba. So, let's have this situation. When you have a positive number divided by a positive integer, automatic, the quotient is positive. If the integer is negative and it was divided, and it will be divided by another negative number or integer, automatically, the quotient should be positive. So that's our pattern. Now, if the signs are different, the quotient is negative. So look at this pattern. One is positive, the other is negative. And as you can see, yung quotient nila is a negative integer. Then when we have negative and positive obviously the, those signs are different ang mangyayari their quotient is negative so i have prepared five different examples for us to apply these rules in dividing integers again let's do example number one so in example number one we have 27 divided by 7 So we all know that when we divide 27 by 3, that will give us 9. But I will emphasize, paano naging 9? Or paano natin ma-apply or ma-employ ang rules in dividing integers? We know that if the number doesn't have any sign in front of it, automatic, ang sign niya ay positive. And then, ito rin, is also positive. Look at the signs, one is, one is positive and the other is also positive. Automatic, their quotient is positive. But, it, we don't need to write the signs because obvious naman na kapag ang, ang sign ay wala sa isang number or integer, the, the number has the sign of positive. So, let's have number 2. Negative 21 divided by 7. So, in example number 2, guys or students, we have here a negative number. And the other number is positive. So, as you can see, magkaiba yung sign nila. Again, they are different. So, basically, if nakita nyo that the signs are different, ang gagawin nyo, you will put here a negative sign. A negative sign. And then, Divide the numbers into your mind. 27 divided by 7 is 3. Therefore, the correct answer for number 2 is negative 3. Okay? So let's move on with item number 3. We have negative 20 divided by negative 4. Again, negative 20 divided by negative 4. So the signs are the same, negative and negative. Therefore, the quotient is positive. And then sim simplifying 20 divided by 4, that will give us the quotient of 5. Therefore, the correct answer is simply 5. Okay? I hope na sa first three examples natin, you can already get the process on how to divide integers. Let's move on. So, in item number 4, as you can see, fractional form yan, but it's item number 5. But, 
Um, ano kasi yun eh? uh, another way on how to represent dividing integers at may encounter niya yan sa grade 7. So, here in your numerator, the sign is positive and your denominator has the sign of negative. So, ang rule natin, since magkaiba sila, the quotient is negative, right? And then simplifying 14 divided by 2, that will give you negative 7. That is the answer for item number 4. Next, item number 5. We have negative 35 divided by negative 7. As you can see, the signs are the same. One is negative, one is also negative. So, given the rule, ang quotient natin is positive. And 35 divided by 7, that will give you the quotient of 5. So, we need to erase this. Simply 5. So, I hope na sa first five examples natin, you already know how and you already master how to divide integers. So, for us to apply what we have learned from this video, I want you to answer this activity. Divide the following integers. So, I have here three examples or three item activity that you need to know and you need to answer. And at the end of the video, I will give you the answer of it. Okay? But then you shall pause for a while for you to answer something from it. Okay? So, pause muna natin yung video. Okay. I think we are ready to answer this activity. So, let's have the answer for this. So, we have 14 divided by negative 14. As you can see, obviously, the signs are different. So, we have a negative quotient. And then 14 divided by 4, that will give you 1. So, the correct answer is negative 1. Now, for number 2, we have negative 100 divided by negative 10. Since the signs are the same, we have a positive answer. And dividing 100 by 10, that will give you 10. So simply, the correct answer is 10. For number 3, we have negative 16 divided by 4. The signs are different, so you have negative, right? And then, then 16 divided by 4 is 4. So the correct answer for number 3 is 4. I hope na nakuhan nyo yung scores perfectly. So sa mga bago lang sa akin channel, if you are new here, click the like, subscribe button, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para lagi kang updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Don. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyo. God bless!